Well, no, I mean, you, need, you needed that win. It's still not guarantee you to get in through, but you needed it. Sure, I, I think we're doing everything we can do at the minute. Um, another nice win ticked off and another add to the kind of run rate, which is always helpful. Um, still think we're waiting on a few results to go our way, but as we said, we did everything we could just tonight. It was one of those performances. It was good with the bat, it was good with the ball, it was good in the field. We haven't seen enough of that, have we? No, exactly. I think that's the first time we've kind of clicked across the board. Um, you know, if we pull out performances like that, we're going to beat most teams on, on our day. And as you said, it's just about peaking at the right time. And hopefully we've done that. I can sneak through in a, in a bit full. OK, let's look at the game. Chase of 1-5-4 for victory. You and Vinci putting on 96 for the first wicket. It's almost job done, isn't it? Yeah, well, it usually helps. You haven't had much of that this year. Um, but yeah, it was nice to have a bit of a partnership with Vinci. I enjoy battling with him. I think we get on pretty well at the top. Um, and as I said, you when you chase a 150, that pretty much kills the game, so we're pretty pleased with that away. And your first half century in the T20 for Hampshire? Yeah, exactly. Just about got over the line. I nearly got out in the 40s again. Um, it's a shame I couldn't stay there at the end with Vinci and really hammer it home, but you know, I was pretty pleased to get, get back out there and get a score. Have you missed a couple of games, I know, because of the concussion protocol and that, but with Hampshire in the dilemma, were they difficult to watch? A little bit. It's pretty, it's pretty tough watching from up there, especially that tie the other day. I've got a in my nails. It's, well, between the test match and the tie, it was a pretty long day of cricket watching. Um, but yeah, it's just nice to be back out there. I kind of ticked boxes medically, and it, it was nice to go out there and get a score. I know it was only the second score of 150 scored here by Middlesex. Did you guys, though, feel that was below par? Or? Uh, not really. That's kind of what we, we come to expect here. Um, obviously, our spinners did a fantastic job. You know, we got three international spinners. It's, it's, no, it's no reason why we, we weren't going to do that well through the middle. It's, it's, um, you know, it's fantastic, and that's the way we set up the play. Um, I think we just batted probably a bit, bit more sensibly and kind of got used to the conditions a bit more better than we have done. Um, we ran out of twos through the middle and probably out, outran them in that sense, and that's probably probably the difference on a, on a pitch like this. You mentioned the spinners there. I mean, they had a good power play, didn't they? 52 for one, Shamsi and Crane then came into the game. Yeah, absolutely. And if you've got Dawson backing them up as well, you've got three three international bowlers there. Um, you know, that's what we set up to do and we pretty much executed it perfectly. Um, you know, that's the first time, as I said, we, we clicked as a group and hopefully we can put a few more performances like that together. OK, so a win down at your old place tomorrow doesn't guarantee you, but what a final game in the group against your old county. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sure I'm going to have plenty of uh, family and friends there and a few booze maybe. Um, but no, I'm looking forward to going home. It's a great place to play cricket and it, it'd be nice to go home and see the family. Um, and as I said, you, you know, we're just going to have to do everything we can do. If we can put another performance together like that, bat ball and in the field, um, you know, hopefully we can do everything we can and, and sneak through there in a bit forward.